All right, welcome to the second mod devlog for resource slimes. And oh boy, do I have some cool things I want to show you this time. Well, I started off by trying to add some particles in a way that was easily expandable. So I first tried a lot of stuff, trying a custom particle type, but then I would have to extend it manually every time I added a custom resource, which of course wasn't quite expandable in that sense. But after trying out a lot of stuff, actually turns out I only needed one line. And voila, slimes with custom particles. Looking really good. On the topic of looking really good, I actually added the new logo to the project and I can now reveal the new logo. There it is. I actually really like it. It's probably not going to be the absolute final version. So probably a few tweaks here and there are still going to be made, but it is definitely an upgrade from last time. I also made a 16 by 9 logo, which I immediately used for my Curse Forge page. So yes, the mod is on Curse Forge now and you can try it out. However, it is insanely work in progress. So it is definitely not safe for worlds and stuff. So it can break worlds. All of that jazz, keep that in mind. So if you want to try it, probably not in your actual play world. Next thing I did, I added some data gen and a bunch of JSON files. So that's about two hours of work right there summed up in one small sentence. But now it was very easy to add more JSON files, more recipes, loot drops, all of those things. And once that was done, I could finally get some drops from my blocks and then also smelt them into other items. And while we're still using the placeholder textures, I hope that by next devlog, we're going to have some new ones, which are going to be really freaking awesome. I also encountered the first very, very strange bug, and that was zombie slimes. They should have been dead, but they weren't. I am not 100% sure what happened here, and it only happened twice, so I don't know. Let's just hope that it never returns. After the visit from the zombie slimes, I did some more technical things. So I added the third resource, first of all, and I wanted to make the workflow very easy of adding new resources. And I wanted to be as generalized as possible. So technically speaking, I made two enums, a resource tier enum and a slime resource enum that should represent this, basically. This would hopefully allow me to sort of semi-dynamically add resources. And for now, the only things that you need to do to add a new resource is add an entry to the slime resource enum and add the correctly named texture. That is it, and then it works perfectly. That's really good already, but in the future, I definitely want to go further with this as well and make it even more generalized. Next, I actually added seven different fluids representing the different resource tiers that exist in the mod. In the future, I actually want to make it as follows. I want you to be able to harvest resources from a slime, and then you get the fluid, as well as some sort of slimy resource, which you then have to process further to getting the real resource. Of course, none of this is implemented yet, but there you go, fluids! And I really like it. They do all behave like water, but, you know, they aren't really meant to be used in-world. Rather, they're used for storing and possibly, you know, probably some more custom items and crafting in the future as well. Right, and at the end, I wanted to add one last thing, which would make everything even more generalized. And that is tier-based rendering. I will quickly explain. Currently, I'm using the vanilla slime model as well as a custom slime renderer just to change the texture of the slime. But this is how the texture looks like. The issue being that for every resource, I would have to add a texture that looks like this, with this part being the resource tier and this part being the inner cube, meaning that this would change based on the resource and this would change based on the tier. And if, for example, I wanted to go and change the tier, I would have to change this texture completely. So the best thing would be to separate all textures like this that I have one texture for the inner cube, one texture for the outer cube, and one texture for the eyes, which are going to be the same anyway, but this is also something where I could change them possibly going forward as well. I set out to do this first looking at the vanilla slimes once again. The eyes and the inner cube are actually one layer, while the outer cube is another. So first I tried to separate those with some success, except texture is not working, but that was easily fixed, and then I ran into another issue. Both the outer and inner cube were working absolutely perfectly. The inner cube is taking a block texture from vanilla based on its resource, while the outer cube is taking the tier-based texture. This was freaking huge. Because of this separation, it will now be incredibly easy to specify exactly which block to take for the inner cube's texture, as well as the outer cube's tier-based texture. What you will notice though is the missing eyes. Oh. God, the missing eyes. I have toiled and tried anything and everything to get those freaking eyes to work on its own layer, but I was not able to do it for the longest time. I don't know why it didn't work. I debugged my way through almost the entire rendering and layer code, but I couldn't figure it out. So after spending about four hours one evening trying to solve this and not being able to, 
I went to bed defeated and hoped the answer would come to me the next morning. This is a great another lesson, by the way. Sometimes you just won't get something to work and it's better to step away for, you know, a few hours or a few days even, rather than just banging your head against the wall for too long. Because precisely next morning, I thought of something else. I just made the base model the eyes and added the inner cube as a custom layer. And to my surprise, it freaking worked. I now had slime resources separated into three different textures. The eyes, one of the seven resource tier textures, and one block representing the inner cube. This was absolutely amazing, and I'm incredibly happy that I got this to work, because it's going to make the expanding so much simpler. Next devlog, when we're going to add a bunch of new resources, it's going to be really freaking easy. And that's pretty much where I left it. Actually, a lot of things done again, and once more, I'm actually really happy with the progress so far, but next time we're going to go into overdrive when it comes to the progress, we're going to add a bunch of resources, and we're going to finally have something that's like actual functional. Uh, you can actually take a look at the current state of the Trello board, so there's quite a long road ahead, but I mean, that's pretty awesome. There's still so many things to do and so many awesome things to be added as well. Right, but that would already be it for this mod devlog right here. Thank you so much for watching. And once again, any feedback is greatly appreciated. Many thanks also to my lovely Patreon supporters for supporting the channel. And I will see you all in the next video. So, yeah. <laughs>